Hey guys, my name's Ed. Welcome to my tutorial on how to make generic house music. First thing you want to do is open up FL Studio. Now that we have opened up FL Studio, we can begin. Now, we're going to do this the professional way that's sure to earn you lots of monies. Step one is to change this tempo, drag it down to 128. Next we open up the step sequencer and we get this. And it makes noises when you press the keyboard. So we need <coughs> so we need to make some nice uh, sounding kicks. So we're going to use the FL default ones by clicking packs, then drums, and then kicks. And then we pick one. If you click one, it will play, and then you can use the arrows to find one you like. Personally, six and three sound good. Ooh, you want to pick two, so we're going to use that one and that one. Make sure that you click on each of these and put them down to one, like that. And we're going to do the same with these, but we're going to use a snare now. You can use any snare you want. I stole mine from a popular song. Okay, now we have our two kicks and our two snares combination. Make sure the snares are set to effects two like that. So kicks are on one, effects are on two. Fantastic. Now we're going to make our <coughs> pattern, house pattern, which is this. That's our house pattern. If we press space, we can hear it. Perfect. Now if we hit this and click clone, we can then add the snares on the last one. Perfect. Now if we click pattern one, boop, 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 three of those, then get pattern two, boop there, Yay. Now we're going to EQ. EQing is really quite simple. You click on insert and then you click this and you just click sound good Isaac because you're a new. No, because it's more professional to do that. We're not going to do it that way. We're going to replace and put a parametric EQ number two. And you see how the frequencies are here so we're going to boost them. Oh, and lower these ones. Nah. Yeah. Perfect. Now I do the same with the snares. Number two. And we oh, drag the thing here. And then open. Okay. So now it looks like that. We want more high and more low. Perfect. Now we have. <coughs> now we have our drums. Next thing we need to need to do is the the melody. So we're gonna make a new pattern and call it melody. There we go. We're gonna get an insert. Oops, I knocked my microphone. An insert. Um. Hmm. Now I recommend. Uh, um, this is where you decide what kind of house song you're gonna make. We're going to make a Martin Garrix house song and then a better one. LOL. Need some antiseptic cream for that burn. Anyway, Martin Garrix, we're going to insert a Harma. Bam. We see that. We've got the Harma there. It's going to glitch up in there. That's fine. Now, if you need to find a Martin Garrix-y sounding preset because you're too lazy to make your own, the bells are quite good. The percussion's good too. Wouldn't recommend anything else. Let's see what they sound like. What's this one? That's very Martin Garrixy. Let's see what Martin Garrix is. Play animals quickly. Perfect. That sounds just like Martin Garrix. Now, I'm going to use my own one called Plucky. Uh, it's not actually mine, it's <sighs> slips, but I stole it from him. Very cute. So now we right click this and click piano roll and we're brought to this. 
Wonderful. Now, what we want is uh, the fifth thing. I can't remember the name of, of that now. Um, it's gone completely. But we can use that now. We're going to make a melody. Make sure you're on pattern. Brilliant. And now we're going to make it. So I recommend filling up an entire four squares when you zoomed out. Like that. It's just a good amount. So now we're going to we're going to make one now. That seems quite fun. That sounds great. So we're going to uh, hold down control and drag over it and control C and V to do that. Or you can press control B, which does that. I'm just going to get rid of those. There we go. And then we're going to move this one up. Actually, let's move them all up. And then we could do that again. Control C and V. This time we're going to drag these even higher. Why not? Let's make it sound really pretty. Like that. In fact, let's make this a double note too. See what it sounds like. Sounds generic, just what we want. So next, we can, you know, let's set some lower notes. Why not? So C, then it goes into D, then back to C, whoops, and then up to E. So now it sounds like this. I like that. Now we're going to make that a double as well. And why not? Let's make this kind of... Let's do something fun here. Whoops. Sounds great. <clears throat> now we make sure we've got this poo... Oh, I mean melody selected and click. And now we have our generic house beat. How wonderful. Now because that sounds boring, we're going to do some more advanced things to make it sound fun. So we're going to replace that with a massive... I recommend torrent... no. I recommend buying massive from Native Instruments for the best effect. Bam. So we're going to replace with massive. Sounds great. Now I'm going to use a preset again that my friend Slips gave me. It's called Verb. See what that sounds like. That sounds revolting. That's just what we want. So we're going to click it and do that. Hold down control, drag across the keys to do that. Then you move it to four. And we're also going to get rid of these like that. And we're going to turn these into long notes. There's probably a quick way of doing this. Uh, I think I know the quick way. It's like that. Control L. <laughs> eh. Drag. Right, so now it sounds like this. Brilliant. Okay. Alright, so now we've got that. We're going to click on this and push it to three. And then we're going to add an Edison, that's my name. You click on play and record it. Stop. Okay. We've now recorded it. Double click that and delete it. And we're gonna get these four waves. Yeah. <clears throat> My voice sounded too excited then. So we're gonna right click and insert a Harma. Ta da! We remember this bad boy. Now, if we click on here and click presets, not, yeah, presets and default, send it to the default one. Click img, image, or image, and then we're gonna click this one and drag it into here. That's what it looks like. Now if we have this selected and we press uh, Q, which is the C note. 
You see it just plays that through, which is lovely. Now we're going to mute Massive for now. If you want to sound better, quote here. Yeah. Mm. Click on here, precision, perfect. This on high precision, and now it sounds better quality. And then we can do this, but the order to, to make some things. Brilliant. Now we can have. Add some effects if we want. I recommend log. Too violent, we're gonna get rid of that. <laughs> so now we have this here. We're gonna right click on that piano roll. Make sure you have C and drag it all the way across like that. And we have that. And now we're gonna make sure that this one is on three like that. Now we can get rid of these, all of these. So now we have to have this. Brilliant. All right. So now we've got that. That's something. It's all right, I guess. We're gonna. What are we gonna do? Oh yeah, we're gonna add an effect. So remember under packs. Find the SFX means sound effect. Find one that sounds kind of zzzy. Actually, that's kind of cool. We're going to use that one. Now, using stretch tool, click stretch, zoom in, stretch it until you find something comfortable. I like that. Deselect stretch, zoom in so you can edit it fine like that. Double click it, click pro default here. That sounds weird at the moment, don't worry. So we're going to change this up to 4. And on the effects tab, number 5. Click Vocodex. This is how we make our fun noise. Uh, click Insert 3. Right click this little arrow. Root to this track only. Do the same with Insert 4. Change the modulators to 1 and 2. Change the order. Okay, we want it the other way around. Like that, if we add the bands like that. And get some better noises, change that. Mm. Add that. Lovely. Now if we cheat, and I mean if we do this correct, we can turn that down a little bit. Go on here, click on gross beat. Find ones that you like. This will just make your patterns sound cooler, more alternated. Uh, I recommend, where is it gone? This one. Well, that doesn't seem to have made a difference because I've put it on the wrong one. Uh, replace with none. Put on the correct insert and you should get a nice sound. So that one is a bit boring. Here's some fun ones. Yeah, you get I like that one, so adding that. Now get a new one and go on Grow Speed again. This time we're going to choose the one quarter gate. Like that. And then we're going to right click here and automate. And we zoom in. Then we kind of do that. Like that. And then we can do that. There we go. Get the idea. Then we're going to get another one. Put it here. Click this. Make it unique. Then we can change it up. Just like that. Get another one here. Oops. Make this one unique as well. Move that across there. Hmm. How about that? Uh, 
Oops. That's uh, right, I guess. That could sound way better if you take your time to make it better. You get the idea, sir. I got carried away. So now we've got that. We're gonna sidechain. Sidechaining, I don't know how to do properly, so we're gonna do it the boring way. We can turn that back up. Right click this and click create automation clip. Drag it all the way over here. We zoom in. As you see this little block here, that's your kick, and that's your kick. Like that, you see? Kick, 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 kick. You get the idea. So we could drag that straight down. And we're going to curve it and move it to about here. Maybe here? Oops. Perfect. So now we click it and put it there. And you see what we've done? So Control C and V. And then we're going to drag it. Do it again. Oops. Like that. And one more time. And we can grab the whole thing and press Control B and it'll make a new one. So now we got. Which sounds like dog sh. Anyway, other things you can do to make it sound less bad is just forget the whole melody we just made. Click the brush tool and do that. What have I done? Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope you make millions of dollars off of your new amazing house track that I helped you make.